Welcome. My name is Andreas Baumbach. I'm here with Dr. Giovanni Di Maria from Oxford in the United Kingdom to talk about the latest experience with PIXO in STEMI patients. Dr. Di Maria, Giovanni, in this video, you will share with us the rationale of PIXO, present the key findings of your current study and discuss the implications of the results. Let us start with a simple question. Could you explain to us what is PIXO and what it does? Thanks for having me today. Um, yes, PIXO is one of the latest therapy that we can implement to improve the outcome in patients with ST elevation myocardial infarction. It's a relatively novel device consisting in a balloon at the tip of a catheter that is inserted into the coronary sinus via a femoral venous axis during the primary PCI. The balloon at the tip of the catheter does inflate and deflate regularly and cyclically in times, uh, within the coronary sinus during the procedure. Uh, by doing so, uh, produce an intermittent occlusion of the coronary sinus, which is thought to lead to a redistribution of blood flow from the remote myocardium to the ischemic myocardium. At the same time, the deflation of the balloon does allow a clearance of the macrovasculature and the normal venous drain of the heart. By doing so, so we, it is thought that PIXO can improve macrovascular function and reduce infarct size. So this works on the microcirculation in STEMI. What, what is the study you are doing to test this hypothesis? Yes, so um, we have decided the OXAMI PIXO study, which is a single center, um, no randomized study, um, including patients with a ST elevation myocardial infarction. Uh, in order to be confident that we are recruiting a high-risk group of patients with a high degree of macrovascular dysfunction, we used a pre-procedural index of macrocyclary resistance, IMR, about 40 units. And patients then with, they were treated with PIXO and compared with um, uh, controls enrolled in a simultaneous observational study running in Oxford, which is called OXAMI. Um, we en enrolled so far 36 patients, uh, 27 of them with an anterior STEMI treated with PIXO and 9 with an inferior STEMI treated with PIXO. And then there were propensity matched with 54 anterior controls treated conventionally and 18 inferior STEMI controls, of course, treated conventionally as well. Excellent. So, so you're selecting patients with a high IMR, with a tight microcirculation, which should have the most uh, benefit. Uh, that's clever. Are we allowed to see some results? Of course, that's my pleasure. Um, so first of all, we looked at the population with anterior STEMI, and um, in preliminary uh, data, we could see that PIXO was associated with a six-month reduction in infra size at MRI, but these data show actually the device as a, an acute, let's say, effect, because we can see a reduction in IMR in patients treated with PIXO, so IMR was lower in PIXO patients and decreased more in PIXO-treated patients. And this was mirrored also when the relative resistive ratio, RRR, was measured. So this is a response to the adenosine. So it's the macro, sorry, it's the vasodilatory capacity of the microcirculation. So we could see that anterior STEMI treated with PIXO had an improvement in RRR, which was superior to the one observed in controls. And at the same time, we could observe the same trend also in patients with inferior STEMI. And this is, was, um, of course, um, the main novelty of the study so far, because this is the very first experience, the first in men, application of PIXO in patients with inferior STEMI. Again, also in inferior STEMI, we observed a significant reduction in IMR when uh, Mm, patients were treated with the device, and this was mirrored as well by a significant improvement of RRR in inferior STEMI patients treated with PIXO compared to controls, of course. So these are indeed uh, some new results uh, with this technology. If you had one sentence to summarize the implications, what would it be? Of course, these are still preliminary, no randomized data, but it does add evidence and support the role of PIXO in improving uh, macrovascular function in STEMI patients. And of course, we can start thinking that this is an application that can be extended from anterior STEMI also to inferior STEMI. Thank you, uh, Dr. De Maria. Thanks for joining and sharing your experience with PIXO and your thoughts on optimizing the treatment for uh, STEMI patients.